Hi, Tamal. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you. Now, in your column this week, you discuss RBI's new norms on digital lending. Can you explain for our viewers what digital lending is and at what's its share in the overall lending? Well, digital lending actually, you know, got a big fillip during the COVID period. Uh, I don't have any, any latest data of digital, what's the size of digital lending, but I'm quoting Reserve Bank of India report of its uh, November 2021 report that it spoke about between 2017 and 2020, the loans given through this digital mode has go had gone up more than 12 fold from 11,671 crore to 1.42 trillion. Since then it has gone up substantially. Uh, and it also mentioned that as, on, as in February, 2021, there were 1,100 lending apps, 600 of which were illegal. Hmm. So, it's, uh, so RBI cannot do anything about them. And Reserve Bank of India governor, in a recent uh, public uh, speech, he spoke about that's the, the police need to uh, take care of that. So this is a new genre of uh, lenders, uh, which is uh, globally happening. It's a free for all. I mean, 20, 30, 40 percent uh, kind of interest rate they charge and they harass people. There have been at least 12 cases of uh, suicides uh, driven by this uh, so-called digital lenders. Uh, that's what the media report says. So it's, a, it's not a very transparent world. Uh, it's a high interest rate and a lot of harassment. And it has been growing at a phenomenal space. That had prompted Reserve Bank of India to come up with the new norms. Now, what's changed post RBI guidelines and how does it affect lenders and borrowers both? Well, everything has changed because earlier what was happening, the digital lenders were on their own. I mean, from where they source the money, if uh, Ishan, you are a borrower, you, you don't know. Um, the money comes to you. And this is between, I am a digital lender, it's between you and me. I charge whatever I want. And I, then if you fail to in your repayment, I harass you. And I may even force you to commit suicide. That's the case. But now what happens is there's a new norm. Reserve Bank of India has made the digital lenders nothing but a carrier or a platform. So it has to be, that means, uh, me as a digital lender comes in between Ishan and the bank. So I am representing a bank or an NBFC or a financial institution. The fi it is the contract will be between Ishan and that financial institution. I am just a middleman uh, and I will ensure what will I do? I will source, uh, I will source or generate uh, the, the loan applications. I will make sure that uh, you are credit worthy, all these guys, and I will make sure the collection. But everything else, meaning the contract will be between the bank stroke NBFC stroke any other lender and the borrower. And the contract will have everything right from the tenure of the loan, the size of the loan, the interest rate charge, the penal interest rate charge, if you fail, the fees, uh, the insurance fees, the processing fees, how many installments it will take, the entire tenure, so on and so forth. And there is no way it can be changed midway. So mm -hmm. uh, as a fallout of this, I think the interest rate also will go down. Now, you highlight this interesting phenomenon of harassment that used to take place and everything. But the RBI rules don't take care of the illegal digital lending, right? The government now is talking about a whitelist from the RBI and everything. So will that solve the problem here? Yes. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, finance minister spoke about that. And it spoke about that uh, be before that one piece of data, uh, you know, between January 2020 and March 2021, there were 2,562 customer complaints. And majority of them, are related to the illegal apps. So illegal apps actually are running the show. And uh, RBI has uh, said that it can't do much about it. It's a, it's a law and order thing. And you know, it's a state, uh, uh, money lending is a state subject. So what the uh, final minister has announced that there'll be a white list or an online registry of the legal uh, apps. Will it solve the problem? I don't think so. Because you need massive literacy drive in the hinterland. Who will have the access to this kind of registry? 
So on the one hand, we need to have a coordinated efforts between regulator, between Ministry of Corporate Affairs, uh, state government, police authorities, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, to have a crackdown. On the other hand, we need to have a massive, we need to have a massive digital literacy drive. We had a financial literacy drive earlier. Now it's time ripe for a digital literacy drive. Now, and the government is commenting on how inflation cannot just be a domain of monetary policy. What do you make of that statement one? And does it mean that we are looking at more aggressive rate hikes in the next meeting? Well, if you see, uh, yes, uh, the worry is it is 7% against the consensus estimate of 6.9%. So after a, a month, it has gone back to 7% again. Uh, in July, it was less than 7%, 6.71%. And it's for eight months in a row, it is above the Reserve Bank of India band, uh, that's six percent after that. Fifty-four uh, percent of inflation basket it belongs to food and beverages. So can RBI do much about it? So there the role of the government comes in. You have been talking, you know, uh, the various taxes on rice exports and everything else coming up. So this uh, this add this has an impact on inflation. So yes, government needs to play a critical role. Government has a role. Reserve Bank of India will meet by the end of this month. Now, till now, you are talking about the rate hike between 25 and 35 bips. Uh, now, after this, uh, people are talking about between 35 and 50 basis point. And uh, mind you, before that, there will be a uh, US Federal Reserve meeting. And yes. probably we get 75, we'll see 75 basis point rate hike by the US Federal Reserve. Yeah. But I will stick to my, um, what I had earlier said. I would like to believe that uh, the time is uh, for a 35 bips rate hike, not a 50 bips. Because, you know, uh, we need to see uh, uh, if Reserve Bank of India confident about its inflation projection way ahead, which, is, which will come down below 6% in the last quarter, if mm -hmm. it's confident about it. Uh, there is no need to hurry. Thank you. Thanks a lot for your time. Have a nice day. Thanks. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. I am the blue of the limitless sky. That let success so high. I will achieve. I will fly high. I am the eye in SBI. I'm backed by the nation's trusted bank, SBI. I the banker to every Indian.